everybody, welcome back to Uncle Bud's Cookhouse. Now, as you see this week, we're handling how to handle a $5 chicken to make a cheap, efficient meal for you and your family in these times. So then we're going to make chicken stock. Now, you can take chicken stock, make soup, boil you some noodles in it, give noodles a nice little bit of flavor, and a little chicken on top of that, maybe a little butter, maybe make you a little cheese sauce, and it's pretty good. But today, we're going to do the basics chicken stock. How to use every tiny little piece of chicken you can out of that $5 chicken you bought. Let's get to it. Alright, so to save us some time, we're going to use a pressure cooker. Now as opposed to taking hours and hours to render all the gelatin and the flavor out of our chicken leftovers here. We've got chicken backs, wings, wing tips, some uh, organ meat, which Organ meat, you might not like it. If you haven't tried it. It's some of the most nutrient dense pieces of chicken, part of the chicken, that you can find. It is tasty. I love them. You should too. More commonly known as the giblets. So we got some mirepoix, carrots, celery, onion, we got some garlic, some dry herbs, bay leaf, salt, and just about two quarts of water. So let's go ahead and dump it in. So like I said, you got carrot, celery, onion, your classic mirepoix. That's three big carrots, three big ribs of onions, one big, three big ribs of celery, not onions, and one big yellow onion. Just cut up big chunks, nothing fancy. Dump that in our water to make a big mess, but. That's what it is. Now here, get this big old thing of chicken up. It's that chicken back, chicken legs, chicken neck, chicken wing, chicken tip. That's big old chicken liver there. We're gonna put this in too. This one take a little easier. Just kind of slide that in. Like so. All right. So now we got our herbs here. I got about a teaspoon or so of dried oregano, about two good tablespoons of dry parsley and bay leaf. Pop those in. Now we got some kosher salt. Nice and have, there's no season here, so this is an opportune time to do anything to bring some salt content to this. That's two, three, four, and a pinch of kosher salt. Now, typically we use fresh garlic, but this time I'm going to show you, hey, if you don't have fresh garlic, and only thing you can get at the stores, the squeeze bottle stuff, it's still garlic. Would I put it into a homemade tomato sauce? No. If I'm making chicken stock, absolutely. So let's give it a squeeze. Figure out, mm, teaspoon. That's about four cloves worth. Four cloves worth. I can't speak today, folks good time so and just a dab for good measure so I'm gonna put the lid on we got our pressure cooker here set for 40 minutes after time of seal on high pressure let this decompress naturally you'll end up with a clear stock but if you're not worried about clear stock for our consommes and whatnot go ahead and hit the release button it could be a little cloudier but it's going in the soup probably anyway. Hold on. There we go. Oh, I ain't done it yet. Things already talking to me. There we go. We're on seal. Here it's on. Time set. We'll see y'all back in well, actually about five seconds. But for me, it's going to be about 40, 45 minutes. All right, guys. So chicken stock's done cooking. It was under pressure 40 minutes. We allowed it to decompress naturally. That keeps the stock a little clearer. Take this off. I don't that look good. You see all the way through it. You see all your vegetables, that mirepoix we had going in there. And it smells fantastic. That's gonna be better than anything you can buy at the store than one of those terra packs. 
Let's uh, spoon this up a little bit here. All right, let's have a taste of this. Mmm. That's fine chicken stock. That beats anything you're going to find in the store, guaranteed. You get chicken skin in there, so you have this nice velvety softness to it. That fat. Uh, you get the carrots, the, the herbiness, the oregano, the parsley, the bay leaf you put in. It's smooth on the lips for all the gelatinous goodness that we took out of the bones. That's a good way to use up all your spare parts. I personally always keep, anytime I make wings for a party, I always take the wing tips. I put them in the freezer in the bag. Use them where to make chicken stock. It's a good way to make your dollar stretch a little bit further. That's good chicken stock there. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on Uncle Bud's Cookouts today. Like, share, and subscribe. Tell your mom that we said hey. We'll see you next time.